Today's message, In Two Minutes That Can Change Your Life, is a little silly because the song from The Little Shop of Horrors popped into my head. And the story is when meek, failing flower shop owner Seymour secretly falls in love with a co-worker, Audrey, there is a total eclipse and one of his plants self-names as Audrey, who has a preference for flesh and blood. After feeding the other Audrey's boyfriend who died to the plant, she gets belligerent and sings in a demand, Feed me Seymour. Now you might be thinking, where the heck is she going with this? There actually is a point. We are told in 1 Corinthians 15, 50, that our bodies will not go with us when we are done on this earth plane. It says, I declare to you, brothers and sisters, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. I'm using the analogy of a flesh-eating plant with an insatiable appetite to demonstrate that we focus so much on filling our bodies with food, drink, sensations, and more, that we forget there is a finer energy running through every cell an energy that you can detect just by putting your inner focus on any area of your body. What part of your inner appetite demands to be filled at all times? Is it your brain that needs constant stimulation, your stomach, your ears, your eyes with noise and visual stimulation? And can you imagine those longings and yes, addictions singing to you, feed me Seymour, expressing a desperate need to be filled? My suggestion is to get quiet and pay attention to the fine strands of energy in every part of your body. Take a few deep breaths and say, I will feed you if and when I've taken care of my inner self. Ah, there you go. This is Jeannie King thanking you for following us on our YouTube and Facebook pages, trueyougroup.com or TUG.